minimum viable product MVP. Let us understand what is MVP and how it helps us in validating our assumption. Look at the context first. If you are building something where you do not have a proven market, you are making lots of assumptions and you are investing lots of money based on those assumptions and later on it those assumptions may hold true and may hold false. You are worried about it and you are thinking how can I mitigate risk of relying my product or services on wrong assumption without investing too much money. So, that is the problem we are dealing with. You may start getting an idea, is it possible that I can make a very basic version of the product which can help me in validating my assumptions. If you can do that, that will be called, that product will be called MVP, minimum viable product. The idea of MVP is learning, not necessarily earning, which means it is not necessary that with this product you will start making some money or some business value out of it. Because if you try to focus on earning then the scope will start increasing. You need to do lot of things before that particular thing can go into the market. So, the MVP is I am not focusing on earning, I am only and only focusing on learning. What are you learning? I am learning about my customer behavior, I am learning about the demand, I am learning the validity of those assumptions on which I am relying my product or service offering and that part is called MVP. Now, in the agile context you can say that yeah, I have a product backlog and I want to do lot of things. I may identify some portion of set of work which I want to do and say that if this portion gets done, my MVP version will be ready and I will put this MVP version to the customer segment space, they will use and based on their uses, I will find out is it really making sense to continue in this particular business idea. I may decide to throw away this code totally and make work on a new product or a new feature set based on the learning. It is not necessarily to upgrade the same MVP into the full grown product. It all depends that what I am learning here and what all assumptions are coming true and what all assumptions are going false. It is all about learning. Please keep this point in mind. It is not about the, the earning. Example, say I get, a, get an idea and I wanted to launch a website to deliver flowers at home. So, people can go on my website and they can order a flower. Now, in, in my market space, nobody is selling flowers online. It is a new idea, there is no proven market, there is no website to refer to. I am very passionate about this particular idea and I wanted to build this particular product. Now, someone asked me, who will buy flowers online? Like, is it really a sensible idea? I said, no, no, everybody will buy, you know, people want to buy, they do not have time, they want to choose based on from the various flower options and there is so many problems in buying the flowers and they will buy. But after answering that particular guy, I started thinking, what if the guy is true and how can I mitigate my risk? How can I learn? Is there a market for buying flowers online without investing too much money into it? So, having a portal to sell a flowers requires a proper display of the flowers, checkout, payment by credit card and finally, we can sell it. But I do not have that much uh, uh, time or I do not want to invest that much money to validate my assumption. I may say, let me create a blog page an HTML page where I will say buy flowers online and I will run Google ads wherever people are searching for buying flowers or related terms, I will show up my page, I will spend that money and I will monitor how many people are visiting that particular page and after visiting if they want to buy a flower, I may ask them to give me a call and if I receive a call, I may offline handle the flower delivery or I may say that we will we get back to you in a one month's time, we are not ready. But what I am observing here is how many people visiting that particular blog page. Now, if I find X number of people visiting, I will consider my hypothesis is coming true. I will say that okay, it is a good investment, let us work on it. If I find people not visiting that particular blog page, even after running the Google ads, I might question mark my assumptions and might want to change my direction and that portion, that blog page and that tool which I have created to learn is, is called MVP. The final product might be a separate portal where I have a proper checkout, display, inventory management and everything to sell the flowers online. 
So MVP helped me in validating my idea before I invest more into my product and services.